Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. We're in the heart of the South, where college football is king. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. UCLA will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. From the eight-yard line. Tackle made at the 29. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. 26 Mike, 26 Mike. Fires quickly, and he's got his man brought down around the 35-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They try running left. And he's tackled at the 47. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Very good tackle in space. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From midfield, it's second down. Little handoff. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. strike to the receiver and he hits him hard at the 40. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. From the 40 yard line. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. the tackle that'll make it 35 here's the eighth play of the series He's taken down at the 21-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 21-yard line, first down. They'll get him for a loss. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring it second and 11. Here's play number 10 on the drive. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds at the 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 10. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Check, 33, 33. Six yards there on the option keeper. That'll bring up third and six. Hey. 
So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. That'll be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations, and that pass was an excellent call. And he adds the extra point. It was a 13-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of center. So the score now, 7-0. He'll take it from the two. Tackle at the 32-yard line. UCLA's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor on the road. Well, Brett, his big play ability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big play ability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 43. Fires incomplete. Number 17, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Falling back, complete. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Here we go, here we go, here we go. go. He scrambled. He's into the open field. Tackle at the 19. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19. They hand it off. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Excellent open field tackle. It's third and nine. Ball on the 18. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. And it's picked up by one of the linemen.
defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. And he just got stood up right there. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out in the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. That brings up second and nine. From their own 27-yard line, second down. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's tackled around the 33 yard line. Gain of six yards. That makes it 33. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Williams was the intended receiver on that pass. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Nice run there. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 48-yard line, second down. Fires it out. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Number 44 at the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. Easy, easy. Run, 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 run. They go with a counter, and he's hit the backfield. made around the 20-yard line. Number 10 on the tackle at the 20-yard line. Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Gains his way to the seven-yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and goal. Here we go, here we go. We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. They'll knock him down for a loss. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. From the 10 yard line, second down. Touchdown, UCLA! Oh, 
outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Schwartz from the three. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Here we go! Ready, And he's level at the 39. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Reset, tight right. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Number 45 makes the tackle up at the 47-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Mike check, 33. 33. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down. Back's got it on the quick throw. Brought down at the 48. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it second and ten. There you go. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. Fourth down. Marshall, he'd like to change field position with his punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. UCLA is up by a touchdown. Gets out to around the 35. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets another handoff. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's out time. It's out time, guys. It's out time. Mark check, 33. 33. And two, go! Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 43. Call it a gain of six yards. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Yeah. <laughs> 
They go with him again, and he'll be taken down behind the line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. At that time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play. Ball is loose, football. He's tackled at the 28. From their own 28-yard line. First down. He's to the 40. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. Passes to the back, incomplete. Receiver on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's taken down around the 49 yard line. That brings up fourth and seven. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. The Bruins game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let him ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. No game. That makes it second and ten. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. UCLA is up seven. That's a great tackle at the 40. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Positive yardage. Gain of four yards. That brings up second and five. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. I got two. I got two. Strip the ball. Strip that ball. He makes it to the 48-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it two minutes to go in the half. Hey, watch 28. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Black five. They'll drop him for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Rose left. The running back's got it. Knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. That'll make it 35. All day. All day. Every day. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Every offense needs to have at least one back who can make something happen in the passing game, especially offenses that run a lot of screen plays. You can really gain the upper hand on a defense when you can utilize it like we just saw. UCLA up seven points. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Evans on the tackle at the 23-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Back 
Go. Around the 18-yard line, UCLA is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 18-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! They'll spread the field with five wide. Caught, open field. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. The defender wanted a head start, and they certainly got him for it. That's the third the time they've decline. converted on That's third down on this drive. Yards. When you can stay on the field that in these kind of situations, the you're doing something right. Looking to go up two touchdowns. Black five, five. Up, 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 up. And down he goes at the four-yard line. So the option keeper goes for about a yard. Lines the halfback in the end zone. Touchdown. be a big boost. You always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations and that pass was an excellent call. And he adds the extra point. Baker has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Schwartz fields it at the 11. He's out to the 30, and they push him out at the 34-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. He sails it long. And he hauls that one in. To the 10. Touchdown! The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. 21-14, UCLA. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, but I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese Number and David, six. welcome Time back, everybody. Out. Just about set to start the second half. From the seventh, 
He's out to the 30. He gets hit out of bounds. At about the 49. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. UCLA is up a score. He's tackled at about the 41. Called a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. Gain of five yards. First down. Tackled in the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on the 38 yard line. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers they'll bring him down at about the 33 yard line so they're gonna go for it here he heaves it to the end zone and this will be caught touchdown three scoring tosses for him. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he hits the PAT. So a six-play, 50-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. So the score now, 28-14. They line up to kick this one away. Caught at the eight. And he's tackled at the 30 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made at the 41. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41 yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Brought down at the 38 yard line. Yard line. First down. They run it left. He's at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 23. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hey, 
Quick pass. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. of one yard on the play. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the 11-yard line. The Bruins defensive back left the game with that injury earlier, and the sooner he gets back, the better, because they've been really working over his backup. Got some open field. Touchdown, Tigers. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's a seven-play, 69-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So our score, 28-21. Excellent kick. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. UCLA is up by a touchdown. Throws it in a hurry, and they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. to go long and does. He gets another, and this is a big one. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. receiver and he can't make the grab. He gets out to about the 14 yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. Play. Taken down in the backfield. No game. That makes it second and ten. Roger, Roger. Mike Schick, 33. 33. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And he's taken down at the 12 yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. UCLA is up seven. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. He's ringing up the points with all these touchdown throws. That's his fourth. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. 
The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. He makes the PAT. Aker gets set to kick this one away. Schwartz from the four. Tackle made at the 18. Well, I know momentarily Reese Davis is going to have an update for the rest of the country from our game because all we've got is offense. We have no defense here. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Nice run to the outside. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and six. All right, D, let's check. All right, D. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Gets out to around the 38. From their own 38 yard line, first down. at the 38 so he decides to hold on to it and it goes nowhere there's the junior cornerback making a very solid stop anytime your corners can contribute like that against the run it gives your defense another advantage quick strike to the receiver and down he goes at about the 45 call it a gain of seven yards that makes it third and three third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Shivers comes away with five yards on the carry. Second down and five. Ball on the 41. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Tackled for a loss. Takes him down behind the line. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it second From the 32-yard line. Second down. Check four, check four. Here we go, here we go. Fires quick, he catches another. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. About a 10-yard gain that time on the completion on the slant. This is the 11th play of this drive. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. UCLA's in front by 14. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Makes it to the 14. He's at 100 yards rushing for the day. Well, Brad, this guy was recruited by almost every school in the country, and for good reason. Boy, he is 
really performed well today. He gets to about the five. That brings up second and one. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. Nice run to the left there. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense, and look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. So this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. UCLA's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. UCLA up seven points. Now they run it left and a nice tackle right there. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. at the 48-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight. Your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he is drilled at the 46 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. He's at the 30, to the 20. Here's an opening, and he will score. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. Carlson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. 
fielded at the four. Across the 30. The 50. Knocked out of bounds at the 42. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. That makes it second and six. From the 39-yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 34. Call the game five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. They just inch past the marker. Yeah, it looked like he got it just by the nose of the football. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Watch the run, watch the run. Go! Brought down right around the 28-yard line. That makes it second and eight. That's a great tackle at the 28. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Deep ball, laying it out there. Caught, touchdown, Bruin. And there's touchdown number five for this quarterback. Simply an unbelievable display of passing that we've seen today. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. Brought down at the 30. And for Nix, he's given the defense a lot to worry about. This is what makes it so difficult to stop this quarterback, is his versatility. If you load up to stop his ability to run the football, then he'll throw it by you. If you sit back and are concerned about his arm strength, then he has the athletic ability to scramble and take off. And anybody watching this game who thinks his quarterback is simply a running quarterback, better take note, because he's proven here today that he can also throw the football. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Ready, right on. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at about the 49. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Caught, and that's a first down. And they make the stop around the 13-yard line. It's first and ten after the big pass play. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Number 47, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Less than three minutes in the game. The pitch, and he's got some room. Excellent open field tackle. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he hits him hard at the three-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. Fourth down. And 
he's taken down at the one. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. his third trip to the end zone. And the defense has to be steaming right now. How do you let the same guy score three times on you? The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 70-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the six. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Just under two to go in the game. Scrambling around. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes they need about three point. yards to get the first down here on third down. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarter. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Tackle around the 45-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws it in a hurry. And he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He goes out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Lost the ball. Fumble. And the ball bounces out of bounds. The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. We have less than a minute to go. Around the 14 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Touchdown, Tigers. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. He makes the PAT. If they field this kick, they'll have to bring it all the way back for a touchdown, or this one's over. He'll return it from the one. He makes it to the 25-yard line.
And that's going to do it for this one. Our final score, Auburn 29, UCLA 42. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.